Oh, oh trouble, turn oh, four. Oh, oh, One no. car hard in the wall, Kurt Busch. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, look at it step out. Yeah, I oh, got my, Oh, yeah. wow. Big time. Straightened Jimmy out. He kept yep. going, but unfortunately, but you, it was at the expense of the 41 of Kurt Busch. Did you see that 48 car, though? He was going to spin out. I think. Is it easier to run up high? Whoa, oh, no. trouble. One car slides Again. to the inside. It's Johnson for the second time. And that, that just snapped around. We we'll got a lot of wheel in it. Just steps out. Just, yeah, it's just all by right itself. And you know, when you've got your teammate outside of you, the last guy you want to get into is your teammate. So you could tell he was really trying to keep it off the 24 of Chase Elliott, and the round it came. But listen, guys. Yep. One car up in the wall. I think it's Truex. So he made a real. There was a late move across the nose. Just wasn't too. clear of the 42. Uh, yeah. But that's where the action was. I mean, there was some movement right there that was a little bit suspicious Ooh. to me. And he catches Busher. But big enough push to get by Denny Absolutely. Hamlin. I think Absolutely. he's going to have a big yeah, run here. Here it comes. There's a possibility here right comes. here. Can he do anything Better cut with him it? off. Oh, no. We got a crash. We've got cars out of control oh, here. No. Legano, the gather back up. Oh, no. The 11 cars out of control off of two. So we got out. Got him in here. No contact. And here they come. Here And here comes the two. He just cuts around. Got that momentum going down the hill. A little late on the 11, closing the door. The 11 just gets behind on the wheel here. Yep. No other hard contact. Sideways there. And then there was contact. The 34 of William Mullins was trying to give him some extra room and ended up bouncing off of the 11. The 83 had a little bit of help from behind, turned him around. I'm not sure that Dowser didn't have some sort of an issue because he got all four tires down below yeah. the double yellow line. He may have had some sort of an issue. Or he thought that something. Oh, trouble. A big hit that Thompson took. Multiple incidents on this one. LeBeau and on fire. That's Baccarella. AJ Fike, the twenty. Looked like the 66 of Mark Thompson got a bit of a bump in that white and red car. And then Lyra came by and collected Thompson again. Pit stops. His first live pit stop as we take a look back at what happened to Dowza. I think the right rear tire went down on Dowza's car. You can see it's down already right there. That thing really snapped around pretty quick. Probably had something to do with the damage from that earlier. In no and trouble. there we have a big one in the back. Michael Self is involved as well as Thomas Prater. There's Andy Sice. Quint, Quint Hauf right there, the 98 also involved. See, there's Leilani. You see the green car. Leilani gets a little bit of a bump from Bola Mastis, it looked like. That turned her into the outside, into Thomas Prater. You can see Terry Jones obviously in front here. And again, it all depends. You see the caution lights flashing, so it will be Terry Jones, our leader, when we restart this race. Truck contact. And hard into the wall. And it looks like the 33 of Fontaine is... On his on side. His lid now. See Bobby Gerhardt also involved. Gerhardt in the five. And we are under caution with five to go at date. Looks like there might have been some contact there, and that Ooh. got the 58 of Clint King, I think, into Justin Fontaine's 33 car. Cody Robaugh, Bobby Gerhardt came along with absolutely nowhere to go. You see Derek Lancaster gets into the outside wall right in front of them. And Justin Fontaine took a big head-on hit. See right side of your screen, look at the, the green car. They're just in there pushing and shoving, drafting. Looked like it really got into the seven of Cody Robaugh, and that got him into Justin Fontaine. But again, nothing Nothing these drivers could do. They're just along for the ride right here. When they're running this close, it's one. Part of the racetrack, Kenseth got shuffled. All oh, the trouble. 55's around. Oh, oh Reed Sorensen oh, head man. on into the infield retaining wall, and that's Corey LaJoy slipping past. He may have got. That was weird. Ooh, I mean, you know, just Corey got a big, big push, maybe from Kyle Busch behind. 
Oh, man, that's a hit. But what I love about what I'm seeing there, I know that was a heavy impact, but look at that new wall. Oh, yeah. That Daytona. I've never heard Chad Canales in a situation oh, oh, like this. It's down. Yeah. Right front's down. You saw the sparks. Come on, yeah. Uh. Caution. Side lane. Oh! Contact and into the wall. Hang on to it here, man. Hold the brake. Oh, the 19 of Austin Cedric hard into the wall. Look like Chase Briscoe got into the back of the 18 of no right there. Just an awkward push from the 29 truck of Briscoe into Gregson. And these guys scatter from there. The track gets blocked. You hit that grass over there. Tear Point here for the guy that wins this oh! stage. Oh, and they're going to crash. Bell and Moffat. Contact and the caution is out. Gallagher, like he might have just gotten into the back end of that seven truck. He just got out enough. To, he got out to the right side of the bumper, yep. Vince, and I think that's what turned Brett Moffat around. Luckily, no more than just a couple involved. You can see right there. Maybe that's why Matt Crappen. Oh, Ooh. John Hunter Nemechek with an. Trying to hold on to it. Exit, and that's what they did. Oh, oh, there it goes. Contact between Peters and Bell. Can Bell gather it in? Definitely some contact. And the five of Corbin Forrester through the grass. The replay here, the Timothy Peters he in that got, white truck. He got a little bit sideways, yeah. I think, Mikey. Yeah, just loose. And Peters just does an amazing job of avoiding this accident. And then Corbin Forrester would just really know where to go. Yeah. Look at all the damage to the grass. And Timothy Peters behind me. Oh, John Hunter Nemechek is around. No caution yet. There's the caution. And the caution oh, is yep. to the flat right there. Loose. Just when it flattens out, that rear goes around. Keeps it out of the outside wall. But remember that we had a, a restart early in the race when GMS did that. But Christopher Bell. Trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt Crafton up and over. There's Johnny Sauter up in the middle of the mess. Brett Enfinger was pushing right there when the track flattens out. Yep. Around goes the 27, catches Crafton, who thought he was home free. Exactly in that spot where you said you didn't want to be pushed, where the track changes a little bit of that elevation. It's nearly impossible to do it cleanly, and this is just way too much right here. Enfinger would have been much better off just to just tap his partner, tap his buddy past Crafton, but he got too aggressive. It's the last lap, you understand that. But look at the impact by Timothy Peters. And look at Grala just sneaking through that hole. Right through the middle. And how about Austin Wayne Self right behind him, Chase Briscoe as well, as Crafton goes up and over. Wow. 30 some hundred pounds of race vehicle, just loose race cars because Benny just got sideways up in the corner and then overcorrected and into the outside wall he went. It definitely has the look of loose there for sure, but it looks like he had some trouble getting in the corner. It almost, almost looks like he might've had a tire going down or, or something going wrong before we really pick it up there. Earlier, here's a look back at what happened to Hightower coming off of turn four. If you're gonna get loose, Kevin, you know this, it's gonna be exiting four. <laughs> that track flattens out in a hurry and around he went. I don't know if he got a little help or not, but that's certainly a, certainly a, a, a really tough place to drive when you're on worn out tires. Yeah, we don't have a real good view of how it started, but I, it looks like he just lost. Oh, we got trouble. Tyler Reddick in the 42. That's Spencer. Ryan Reed. Garrett Smithley through the grass. Spencer Gallagher gets a piece of it. Oh, and they're still wrecking. Saw William Blake Byron. Play. Kevin, you said it. You talk about mistakes on pit road, and look where that put Byron. Yeah, you just, you have to do it. It's a 42. Off of the bumper. Of the 24 of Scott Lagsy, it looked like. And then they just kept wrecking at him. I'm surprised they couldn't get him woed down. That happened right near the front of the field. Yeah, and I think what, what happened there is the 42 was almost going down, and it's like the, the, the car behind him, the 24, just got him off center in the bumper, and it just hooked him to the right as he was pushing him. 
We saw the same thing last Beat, So their five minute clock is gone. Good oh. news for them and what a hard hit. Brandon Jones nose first into the outside wall. Oh man. That's a shame. Look at the cars. Brad Keselowski sneaks through again. Ryan C. Oh, Hemrick slides up the track, gets into Allgaier. Jones hit it once, rebounded, got hit again, and turned once more, exact same location, into the wall. Michael, I don't know if he got loose right there, if he was going up to get a side draft, or, or what, what really happened to the 21 right there to, and, to cause him to go up the track. And possibly could he have hit some of that speedy drive maybe, and it made him just change lanes all so slightly, but you can see he's heading in the wrong direction when they come into turn three. I've been here before, and, and, and you go in there and you feel like you can't turn the wheel. You've been into turn three a lot where you feel like you can't turn the wheel. Here, you know, he was out, oh. out front too far. Man, that was close. Glad I changed my wording on that. Looks like just probably some damage, Kevin, from earlier uh, contact and rubbed the right front fender. And Yeah, I saw somebody smoking, and I have a feeling that, that it was probably his car and his tire hitting that fender, and that's the result of it. Benny Gordon, regular season points. I'm going to the front. Oh, no. Crash. Brennan Poole. Behind you, they're wrecking behind you. Do not lift yet. Do not lift. Do not lift. Okay. Back it down, brother. It'll be one to go. Brad Kessel. The end of a stage. Here's what brought out the caution. Bam. With the experience of Brad Keselowski, Kevin, did you see anything there that, that makes you think that that wasn't just a typical bumpers not matching up, bump drafting that went wrong? Stagnant in front by a half, right lane solid, plus one in front See of how it was just a little bit off center? Oh. You know, just to go. Oh, There's one breaking trouble. free. Matt Tift in the 19. He kissed it a little bit. Caution is out, eighth one of the day. Car, we're gonna have to get to the pits. Wow, how about that? Right in his lap. Get in the pits and maybe try to put some tape on that hood. It almost become dead air. And oh, oh, there it is. The best car we thought all day long in a bump trap, bump drafting mistake, just went into the wall. Number of big cars taken out in what is our third big crash of the afternoon. Austin Dillon approaching the one, gives yeah, him a little same bump, thing. knocks him out of, out of whack. Even when these cars are square, they're just so light in the back that it, everything has to be absolutely perfect or it causes another big wreck. You know who this caution is big for? William Byron, who didn't pit under that last caution, took the wave around. He was not gonna be good on fuel, now he will be, and right now he scored in the top 10. Just that easy to take the most dominant car of the day and, and crunch it up. And look at William Byron, you talked to him, and I just don't think he knew Michael Annette was on the outside, spun around, clipped William Byron. Of Kane, William Byron said, I gotta get out of here. He's gonna get a second career victory at Daytona. And they're crashing as they come across the start finish line. The speed here, he oh, doesn't get it woke oh, down enough, hot, but he tries hot. to avoid Clint Boyer, which Clint's thankful of, but unfortunately it loads over in the left rear and he just can't keep it under control, noses into the outside wall. It uh, certainly you know, doesn't seem like you it's know, slowing you know down. You know what, Jeff, yeah. I, I think in, uh, 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 had to go with a caution, David Reagan also into the wall. Who had made contact with David Reagan earlier. This may be a, a tire that went down. He goes wide here, yeah. and now here comes Ryan Newman around him. He's just trying to keep it, it going straight because I think he has a problem. I think he got a tire going down. That's why he pushed up the hill the way he did. You see right there, it just took off. Jamie. That's exactly right. He first got in to David Reagan, left front damage on this. There's Kyle Busch, all by himself. Boy. Oh, it just Whoa. turned. I mean, that has to be a tire. There's no way that car just jumped around like that without something happening to it. I mean, he just lost. That thing just went sideways. They were working their way through some slower traffic right here. I can't imagine that there was an arrow no, I, I situation think... there, but... So right there, he's all by himself. Now watch, all of a sudden that car goes around like a like like a left rear tire it maybe does. went down. Before that, he and Michael McDowell were pretty close Whoa. together on oh, the yeah, racetrack. Junior, junior almost yeah. go up on Whoa. two wheels. Hey, do they think it's 10 oh, to go? Trouble, here we go, here we go. Jimmy Johnson got turned, and they piled up behind him.
behind him. 14 48. I mean, the whole crowd. There's a 10. Wow. Lord of mercy. Oh, oh they got four wide. What happened yeah. was the one car, he snuck to the outside of the 48, getting into turn three, and the six tried to go to the inside. Just not enough room to, to make it four wide right there. And Mike, I know you want the, the cars are the most difficult to hang on to at the end of that back straightaway. They're light right there. Any touch, any move can spin you out. I got you. I've seen, I've not only seen this, I've been a part of this. Jamie McMurray pulls this move a lot. He sticks his nose just right there on your right rear quarter panel, nudges his way in there and makes some some great moves, but it is very all three wide and yeah, it looks like the six and the 48 had something happen. There's nowhere to go. And they just kept coming up and hitting me, so. Was Blaney coming to pit road there? It almost looked like and, it, because it looked like he was trying to drop Sandler down. Maybe had to avoid him. It looked like the 21 was definitely dropping down. He was slowing. Yeah, yeah, look at him. It's either he's out of, either he's out of control. He either got loose coming off of turn four or he was headed to pit road. Either way, they had to, the seven of Elliott Sadler had to avoid him. That made contact with the 17, the six. Let's watch in the back straight. He start, tries to go to the inside, make it three wide. Yeah. Gets to the left rear bumper of the 24 of Chase Elliott, turns him down into, I think that's Michael McDowell and that just starts a chain reaction. Boy, McMurray's just super aggressive. <laughs> I don't think those Hendrick teammates are going to be real happy with him. Wow. Into the back of, yep, Chase Elliott. Yeah. So, so Murray's going to go try to go three wide and they're in the room. Guys, one of the things that happens when you're pushing somebody, you're in control of their car. And what that does is create an opportunity for you to jump inside or outside of them. And, and it works sometimes, but man, is it risky. You never know if you're going to be able to get inside or if they're going to block you. Back out the last second, he realized that he was going to come up just not quite soon enough and turns the 23 into the outside wall. And after that, car just a bam. Pancakes the outside wall. Brendan Gaunt actually missed him, but then spun trying to regain control. from Ryan Blaney. Now you've got a little it. side draft there. In that 42, nope. you've got an aggressive young man that might just be willing to push that 78. Oh, 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 oh he's oh. got to run. He's Out going. Of fuel. Out of fuel. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're kidding me. Yeah, great up, oh. great oh. opportunity for Mark Trex Jr. right here. Now the question is, can the 78 hold these guys off? Can he do it? Two laps to go. So it sounds like they've been so close so many times. Pushed his teammate to victory here one time. Is anybody going to push him today? Look at the 21 coming on the inside. Whoa! Give a big push. Where'd he come from? Ryan Blaney wow, from the run. back with Logano. Oh, Blaney is out of gas. gas. 42's out of gas. Who else is going to run up? 21 is. I, I'm not so sure. Well, I think he's okay. He's still going. Now, if the 47 can get up behind the 21, give him a push, he might get there. But I don't know. I think this might be Kurt Busch's day. Looks like he's going to come home a winner. Kurt Busch has been the bridesmaid in the Daytona 500. Here they come off turn four for the final time. From Las Vegas, the 2004 champion of the series, Kurt Busch for Gene Haas and Tony.